But you really are glutton for punishment. Let me talk a little bit about the Saturn V rocket, one of the most outstanding rockets uh, uh, that we've ever built. Okay, um, Here's a, a picture of this rocket. And the thing to, to, to consider about these rockets is that most of the mass as they sit on the launch pad is actually the mass of the fuel that they carry. And of course, the more fuel you've got, the more fuel you have to carry the fuel. right? You know, So it's, it's this crazy thing. And what they do is they break it up into stages. Um, and the reason for this, and these guys separate, right? Right inside here, there's explosive bolts, and they'll drop this behind. Um, the reason they do that is to get rid of the weight of the empty fuel tanks, right? And these big engines, you don't have fuel. You don't need those engines once you get up into space, right? Um, and so they actually drop these things away to get rid of the, the, the weight. Okay, so there's a first stage, a second stage. The third stage, actually, first and second stage get them up, I think, I believe they get them into orbit. The third stage, it orbits the Earth and blasts them off toward the moon, and then it's done. Um, and then everything else is done. Um, that's the lunar excursion module. It's hidden inside there. Um, and then that's the command module. Is that little bitty thing. That's where the people are, right? Um, and then this thing here, I believe, is called the service module. Service. And if you watched Apollo 13, that's, of course, the thing that went kablooey, right? Um, and then that that top thing there is, is called the escape tower. I'm not exactly sure why it's called that, but... Um, basically, the idea is if this rocket starts to go kaboom, right? Uh, in other words, it does tip, right? Uh, or something bad happens, right? Uh, these astronauts have a little button they can push, and that rocket will lift just the command module. So they'll separate from the rest of the rocket. They'll lift it way up in the air, 1,000 feet or something like that, and then they can bail out of that capsule um, and parachute down to the Earth, right? So that's kind of a weird thing, right? You have to, you have to actually get yourself high enough that you can bail out, right? Uh, a little bit counterintuitive, but... Uh, I've got this uh, wonderful animation that uh, sort of shows the whole thing, the whole Apollo thing. Uh, I think I double click this guy here. Watch it. There you go. Okay. There's the first stage pushing with 33.82 mega newtons of thrust. It doesn't get that high, but you know, here we have it, right? First stage separation. Second stage, we get rid of the launch, little escape thing, right? And then uh, that's the third stage, orbits the Earth, and then blasts them toward the moon. Now they're, what they're doing on the way to the moon is that they pluck the lunar excursion module off of the third stage. So the, the service and command modules are on the right, and the lunar excursion module is the little gray thing there. Pluck it off of there. The third stage now, we just get rid of it, and we fly to the moon. We don't need to use the rockets all the way there, but when we get to the moon, we fire them to slow ourselves down and to get into orbit. Now we, you know, we use thrusters aboard the uh, lunar excursion module so we don't crash on the surface of the moon. If we do, we die. There's no rescue plan, right? Then we land on the moon and we drive around in our car. We bring a car to the moon, somewhat unexpected, right? We play golf on the moon. And when we're done, we leave the little legs behind. So the descent stage is left behind. The ascent stage takes off. They dock with the command and service modules. So one astronaut's in the left-hand ship, two in the right. Get rid of the lunar excursion module. Right before you get to Earth, separate from the service module. Go through the atmosphere, all those little tiles, and then boom, you're ready to go again. It's amazing. It's amazing how fast they can get you going again. I think I click on, whoops, click on this guy. There we go. All righty. So um, that's the notion there, right? The uh, Saturn V rocket. That's kind of cool. Isn't that cool? Coolest rocket. One of the one of the interesting things about this is that this thing had, I believe, it had five engines on the bottom there, and as you go up, the uh, mass of this rocket gets smaller and smaller and smaller until at the very end, you've got all of those huge engines pushing and not very much mass, and so the g force would be too big for the astronauts, right? So what they do is they actually cut out, I think, one of those engines so that they don't like kill the astronauts with the g force. Um, if you go to uh, Wiki Wikipedia. And look at the Saturn V. Look, look up Saturn V rocket. Um, there's a really good thing, and they show the, the the acceleration curve for this thing is like, right. So they cut out one of the engines on the first stage. Does that? It's very cool. All right, that's enough Saturn V rocket.